Here we're going to break down a 2015 ejection of an MLB manager during a pitching change. The great thing about this ejection is we're going to see MLB umpire Quinn Wolcott use proper mechanics during a pitching change in order to best handle this situation and really come off as in control while it makes the manager look like the one that's being the aggressor and ultimately not in control of the situation. Saladino singles in two and nightmarish eighth inning to put it mildly. So as you see here, he's complaining down to Quinn. Lloyd um, to Quinn's middle. taking his position up the third baseline. And again, by being up the third baseline, opposite the dugout of the defensive team, one, the manager's not coming out behind him. And for the manager to say something, he can't just say something under his breath, glancing by him. He has to look that way and be loud with it. And this shows everybody he's being the aggressor. He's the one that's not doing what he's supposed to do while Quinn is ultimately standing um, very calmly on the third base line, and in his position on the third base line, he's able to watch Lloyd from the dugout all the way to the mound and back to the dugout when the time comes. Not happy. Keeps going. Gonna bring in Calls David the bullpen, Ross. takes the ball from the pitcher. I don't think the umpire Here you go, he keeps arguing. As you saw, as Lloyd was going up to the mound, he signaled the bullpen to have the next pitcher come in and took the ball from his starting pitcher. Right here, this is an obvious substitution and a straight change. There's no need for an umpire to have a conversation with a manager on a change like this. And most often when you have a pitching change in an inning, it's a straight change just like this. There's no conversation needed. Action throwing, not even that's a problem. Keeps that's arguing. This goes on for a minute. He's got to get through it. He's still waiting. Now, real quickly, again, where's Lloyd going to have to go? He's been ejected. He's going to have to go back to his clubhouse, which he gets to through his dugout on the first base side. By Quinn already being up the third base line, he's out of his way. There, there's no interaction that has to happen between them for Lloyd to get back to his dugout. Now, Gary has taken a position, Gary Cedarstrom, he's the crew chief, has taken a position between Quinn and Lloyd. This way, if Lloyd does deviate from his path back to the dugout, Gary's able to intercept him and get him going the right direction. And again, this position on the third base line will make it very clear to everyone at the game that if there is going to be a conversation had, Lloyd's the one being the aggressor, deviating from his path to try and make it happen. Scoring that last play, Ramirez and Sanchez. Lloyd, the third on that play was Flowers. Maybe he gets his money's worth. And here you see Lloyd's deviating from his path, trying to get over to Quinn, trying to keep complaining about balls and strikes. Gary's going to try to get in between this conversation, and he does a great job of it. This is why he's a two-time World Series crew chief. And here's pulling off the classic umpire move to end a conversation. When you are the one breaking up the conversation after an ejection, for example, like this, start walking the manager back to his dugout. Once you've made eye contact and started the conversation with him, he's going to want to keep having that conversation with you. So if you slowly start moving the direction of his dugout, he's going to follow you. And that's a great way to get him off the field into the dugout so you can keep playing. Keeps going, almost stops, but Gary says, no, you're done, go back, and he does. In this point across for the next couple of days. Yeah. So again, this is a great example of how we use the proper mechanics during a pitching change, the benefits of doing it, how it pays off in situations such as this, and again, how ultimately during most pitching changes, there's no need for us to communicate with the manager other than maybe a simple wave or point. We know who the change is, Everyone can tell, um, but again, don't give up the position opposite the defensive dugout that allows you to handle situations as perfectly as Quinn does here.